All right, so I'm back from Grand National Roadster Show, and on the trip, something weird kind of happened with the trailer. Uh, on the way to California, the rear two tires on the triaxle setup, it started sh uh, shredding the outside tread on the rear tires, but none of the others. So once we got to California, we moved the front tires to the back, the back tires to the front, and on the way home, I didn't get any weird wear patterns like I did on the way out. Um, so I thought that was kind of odd, but I went ahead and ordered a new set of tires, uh, eight tires in total, so two spares and then six main wheels. And I went ahead and got 14 ply uh, heavier rated tires, which the tires that are on there that I got on the way to Bonneville last year didn't have a weight rating on them, which I thought was kind of odd. But, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch everything over and I'm gonna kind of do the, the chore of remounting all eight tires. So stay tuned and we'll work through them. All right, one side down, one side to go.
All the tires change on the trailer. That's six for the three axles. And I'm sitting on the two spares now. So that's eight tires in total. Um, as I kind of dismounted the other tires, I found some of the load ratings. Um, they were just kind of in a weird spot. Um, and they were E and they, they just felt kind of cheap and thin. And the new load rating tires are G and they're 14 ply. So just how the tire feels is totally different. Um, the tread's a lot better. It's flat across the top instead of more domed. Um, so we're gonna give these tires a shot and kind of see how they work. Um, especially being a trailer this big, you know, 48 feet and able to haul two cars. I really feel that uh, a 14 ply tire is better than either the eight or 10 that was on there. Um, it was real kind of confusing because it didn't specify the ply rating as easily as these tires do. So I uh, got them all switched and I'm feeling a lot better about that. Uh, that's one big thing with me is before going on a trip, um, I always do all the maintenance on the trailer. Uh, I don't like to be fighting, you know, blowouts and bad bearings and all that stuff. So I always try to keep up on the maintenance on my trailers. Um, so again, I just got back last week from Grand National and I don't have any big trips lined up uh, for the next few months, but I went ahead and just got the tires done. That way it's done, over with, ready to go, other than putting a shot of grease in each, uh, each bearing and topping off the air pressure before I leave. So I'm a big uh, advocate for, you know, keeping up on the maintenance on your trailers and that'll save you a lot of headache down the road. So thanks for watching. Please rate, review, and subscribe. And hopefully this uh, video, if nothing else, was interesting to watch. I know it's not super informative, but just another day in the life of uh, Mike at Cornfield Customs. So again, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one.